stunning. A little trot up the termite mound. Scouting about. On alert. Isn't she absolutely beautiful? So yes, that tip of the tail is an interesting thing. It gives the leopard's position away at times, as I said, I've seen it happen before. And often what you'll find is if a leopard's been spotted by a squirrel or a go-away bird, something that's alarm calling, what they'll often do is they'll lift up their tail and flick it, almost like raising a flag of surrender, as if to say, okay, I know you've seen me, you can stop telling everybody else that I'm here. I give in, I give up, I'll move off elsewhere. Okay, let's just see if she decides to settle here. I don't think she's going to. His ears constantly sort of seeking. I think she is hunting. And we're going to be very careful not to risk interfering. Oh, time for a quick scratch. Haloed in this morning light. Absolutely beautiful. You can really get an idea of just how long a leopard's whiskers really are. Not often we get to see them highlighted like this. She must be close to 10 years old at this point. I think Shadow and Tundi must be close to 10. Both of them have had relatively... I think it's just maybe because we, we compare them to their mom. But both Tundi and Shadow have had relatively unsuccessful attempts at raising litters of cubs. But hopefully this time will be different for Tundi. And Aqua, you were wondering about her success rate as a mother. As far as I know, she has one adult daughter in Mala Mala. I also heard a rumor that she had a son, but I've, I haven't been able to clarify that. Oh, she's very, she's moving very quickly here. So Aqua, a relatively limited success rate. It gets very thick in here. I'm going to need to concentrate just going through. 